Uh, I'm gonna start uh, quickly, guys. I feel I like I'm too old to be on this panel, man. No, I mean... Especially with her, I feel like I'm in an R. Kelly biopic right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's my, all to do my after. mind, tell me no! So now, I'm sorry, no disrespect. So now you have to lean into the benefits of racism. No one white can tell how old you are. <laughs> you could be 13. You could be W.E.B. Du Bois. We don't know. Uh -oh. I'm the Morgan Freeman of comedy right now. Nobody knows how old I am. 30 to 60, I guess. Uh, I want to tell you how I met uh, this young lady. You look lovely tonight. Thank uh, you. Don't know, you look fine. Thank um, you. And, uh, no, I we... I look amazing. You look great. You're always 10 out of 10. <laughs> she and I uh, were at a restaurant about two years ago. I went over to get a picture with her, and you were very nice about it. And then, of course, I posted it and put something snarky. <laughs> and then she... <laughs> <laughs> she said something sort of mean back. And then what happened, I'd never been involved in this. All the comments got in fights. Her fans, by the way, they were killing mine. Because <laughs> mine put up a little bit of a fight, but hers was like, I'll blow your head up with a shotgun. Mine like, I'm out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, they laid down. They're like, Spade, no, we kind of like you. Fans are crazy. Oh, yeah. Yours no, are crazier. They, and it's crazy because even if I'm like, no, it's cool, they're still like, Aah! Yeah. Like, they were really protecting you like fire ants, and I was getting stung. Yo, when, it, I, when I saw that she was on the show, that I got nervous as hell. I was like, I don't want none of that Dr. Phil energy on this show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, this. I know how she get down, son. We, we, we got Dr. Phil himself. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's, that's the before of the after of Dr. Phil. <laughs> anyway, so we, they go, she has 14 million followers. She's more famous than you. You have 1 million. I go, yeah, she's more famous if you go by facts. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we made up, right? And then we, oh, and I did your music face. video, Gucci Flip Flops, yeah. which was a big deal. And then, uh, now we're friends. Gucci Flip Flops. Yeah. Look at us. Yeah, that's us. We should get this made out of diamonds and just put it in both of our living rooms. <laughs> well, I can't afford it, but maybe you can get two of them. <laughs> uh, Lindsay Lohan, you know Lindsay Lohan, you might. Yeah. You yeah, do. she was in that movie, Mean Girls. She was in Mean Girls, that's right. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan is re re releasing her first new music video since 2005 with a single called Xanax. Uh, <laughs> of course it is. Write about what you love. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, they always say, when you write, you have to talk about, like, things that are happening in the moment. Like. Right. I don't know if that was the name of it or it was her lunch order, but, uh, <laughs> she... She's doing an album, she's doing music of, of... Yeah, what do you like, her first album? Better? How do you know she was a singer? Yeah. But she been locked up enough, I know she gonna come out with a gangster rap album next. Right, <laughs> she probably got so much she shit right Yeah. Donnell, <laughs> Donnell, being a drug Why addict... Why you gonna say my name and do this shit right now? <laughs> Like, what you I just love drama. My, okay. All of my people do. Okay. Um, like, being a drug addict is her career. Music is her passion. Right. Um, <laughs> but I get worried. Who's going to run that beach club on Mykonos? She's going to be off making music. Yeah. And, like, those gay Greek guys are going to start stealing from her. Yeah. <laughs> she's on the Australian, uh, what's that show? Masked Singer now. She's playing, I think she's playing a bumblebee. <laughs> Or maybe oh. she's playing someone who got stung by Bumblebee. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, Nicki Minaj. Oh, her fans went into a panic. Listen to those fungus. She tweeted she's retiring to start a family. Is this the end of the twerk era? No, me and Cardi got y'all. We gonna be here. Yo, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were I thought you were That's the problem right there. What? Nicki Minaj is the iPhone 7 of bad bitches. Yeah. We have Lizzo, we have Cardi B now. Because she just can't, she can't compete. But she didn't retire, Cardi B retired Well, her. let's say something. Yes, that's not true. true. No, y'all, y'all, okay, as oh, much as... Oh, we gotta as, start clapping now. Yeah. Right? As much as Nicki... Are we drink throwing? As, All right. No, we gotta say that for the end. All right. Um, anyways, yeah, you know, you gotta give Nicki her props, though. Nicki was running this shit before... She was, and but not Nikki anymore. It's but over. No one told her. It's over. My thing okay, is... let me explain it. It's over. No one told her to... No one told her to get salty. Cardi B... And she... But if she would have took Cardi under her wing and been like, yeah, this my bitch, da, 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 she didn't have to be out. Ugh, I can't stand another bitch taking my spot. Like, sit your salty ass down and just deal with it. Cardi B... That's what I said. That is very smart.
smart. I was They're saying this smart. last when night. you have a hater, collaborate with them <laughs> and then get to be on their Comedy Central show. Right. The, uh, Cardi B destroyed her career with one phrase. I don't even know how you spell it. She said, a and it was over. Yeah. <laughs> Very fickle, that, that, that mean, fan base. Coda uh, Cardi jumped out with that, that little Kodak remix. That's really what got her shit popping. So they better give my mans his respect. Mans is yeah. gonna be one person too. You do know that. Uh -huh. Yeah. My, my, I'm following pieces of this. Uh -huh.